Okay, greetings everybody. Let's get this party started. <laughs> a few minutes late. I was waiting on the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the launcher to update the game. It's taking a little while to copy all the folders. Too many big worlds. All right, uh, we are back. Happy Friday, everybody. Let's see. Make sure of a few things. That appears to be working. That's working. Yeah, I think we're fine. All right. <clears throat> Bird Brainiac the fourth. Still rolling, but we got some stuff to talk about. We got some stuff to talk about. And some things to do. All right. So let's see where to start. Let's start with uh, my game world is broke. <laughs> I've been having a lot of problems with that recently. Uh, yeah. So my game world is broke. Let's uh, let's talk. So you know how I have. Uh, I have uh, magiclism and no hope running in this world. Well, guess what? When you do that, I discovered this morning when I got curious about something and did some testing. When you do this, you don't get a lot of the buildings associated with magiclism in your world. I have gotten and uh, will not get any used bookstores, no magic academies, no wizards uh, towers, no magic stores, none of it. None of them. We, we, get, uh, we get the forge and we get the goblin camps and we get uh, some kind of magic meadow thingy. That's it. <laughs> That's all I get. I spent uh, about half an hour creating and then teleporting around various worlds, testing. And uh, with just Magiclism, I get all those things. When I do Magiclism and No Hope, I get none of those things. <laughs> so we're kind of seriously handicapped on the magic stuff currently, given the circumstance. So, yeah. Yeah. That's that's the issue. <laughs> so I I can and I probably am going to manually add in a few buildings to some of these towns we've discovered. Um, and we'll go through and we'll figure out which to add where and all that. But I need to scatter a few in. I don't want to start a brand new run. We're we're way past that. But we're just gonna we're gonna drop some some buildings into some of these towns we've uncovered portions of. Uh, cause you know, it's a big thing. That's where you're supposed to go to get magic <laughs> is the, the used bookstores, the magic shops, the uh, wizard towers, the magic academies, all that stuff. And we have not been able to get any of that. And we will never get any of that. Ah, Spitaliers dropping bombs again. Welcome back. Thank you very much. You just... You just personally offended by my my please support uh, small content creators. <laughs> you just can't stand to see that bar empty. Therefore, I shall make it bigger. I shall make it bigger and more obtrusive. Because <laughs> it's working. <clears throat> bar looked sad. It did. Now it's got kind of that dual two-tone two color scheme going on. Bar getting fed. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah. So, game world is broke. Uh, don't, in your game world, if you want to rely or to uh, have fun with magiclism, don't do magiclism and no hope simultaneously, unless somebody goes and figures out why this is happening and fixes it. <laughs> but if you do them both, and it's possible, possibly, maybe, if I had the load order different, maybe it would have done somewhat differently during world creation. I don't know offhand. If maybe I had done uh, No Hope before Magiclism, but uh, I just did them the way they were listed in the mod list. I've never had to worry about order of mods previously. I don't often play with mods, but um, yeah, whatever. We're stuck with it now. So we have a broken world and we'll just have to live with it. All right. So uh, let's, uh, which tile set is this? Uh, we have commands for all that stuff. It's Chibi Ultica, but we, we have... A settings command you can type in anytime you'd like. If you're curious about anything you see regarding my my setup in my game world. So uh, third line there right at the beginning. Ch graphic tile set. Chibi Ultica. You can also get that same info in the descriptions on my YouTube videos. <clears throat> it's always available. All right. Options. Graphics. 
Chib Ultica. Not using a separate tile set and not using a uh, tile set map currently anyway. They can pry my, my, my old ASCII map out of my cold dead fingers. Broken how? Oh, see, now too late, Hedstrom. You have to go back and watch the beginning of the video. <laughs> go watch the VOD. We're getting uh, none of the city-based buildings for Magiclism. We're getting the forge. We're getting um, the, the magic glades or whatever they are. Um, and a few goblin encampments. We're getting those, but we're not getting any of the used bookstores. We're not getting any of the magic towers. We're not getting or wizard's towers. We're not getting any of the magic shops. None of that stuff. It, it's all completely missing. And it's not just in this world. I spent 30 minutes earlier today because I, I was watching the playback of the last video from Monday just to remind myself what we did, <laughs> as I usually do. And it occurred to me that we've done an awful lot of traveling and an awful lot of map exploring, and I hadn't seen a single one of the buildings I was looking for. The used bookstores, magic shop, etc. Not a one. I mean, we got a good portion of that big city uncovered. Uh, some of that one, some of that one. We, we just uncovered a bunch of eh, small to mid-sized cities without seeing a single one of the city-based buildings. So I got curious and I went and I did some testing. Created brand new worlds with mega cities, 16-2 type settings with both mods. Teleported in, <clears throat> did some searches, found not a single one of the buildings. As soon as I take No Hope out and just have Magicwism, they're all over the place. So, yeah. Now, I can't tell you for sure if the wizard basement's shown up or not, because i uh, that's harder for me to search for. Um, but uh, we're not getting any of the other stuff. So, And I suspect the, uh, the, the, the cabin, the green F cabin, is probably not showing up either. Uh, these are all the normal... Oh, nope, we did get a green F cabin. So that, that is one of the magic cabins, but that's out of the town. So I think that's unaffected. So we do have one of those. So there's possibly some magic items in there for me. But, um, oh, there's another one. So we've got a couple of those. Two of the seven of these cabin listings are the Magiclism cabins. <clears throat> but beyond that, we got nothing. So, um, do, do, do. We do. Uh, used bookstores, we're getting none. Anything with magic. We just get this magic meadow thingy, and that's it. Not a single other magic entry, so no magic shops and, and so on. No wizard towers. None of them. So, uh, we're going to cheat. We're just going to use uh, uber mega debug cheating magic, and we're going to drop a few into various towns. So, yeah. Uh, as far as I remember and know, the list is... Let's see. Um... Book, used bookstores, which I think are the most common. So I'll probably drop one to two used bookstores, depending on the size of the city in each of the, the cities we've partially explored. We're getting no magic shops or magic academies. I'm assuming magic shops are more common than magic academies. But if any of you folks have a lot of magicalism experience, feel free to let me know the basic ratios. But um, uh, I'm assuming the academies are probably the rarest, maybe? And then there's also wizard towers. So used bookstores, magic shops, magic academies, and wizards towers. Those are the ones that I know about, that I remember. Towers are decently common, so we'll do towers and bookstores decently common. Magic shops less so, and academies less so. Well, we'll have three different rarities, I guess. So that's what we'll go with. Bookstores, magic shops... Bookstores, Towers, Magic Shops, Academies. All right. Got a note. Do, do, do. Where do I want this note? Uh...
Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we started in a basement. Uh, or no, we started in, uh, we didn't start in a basement. We started in the, uh, uh, the, the lab. <sighs> we did an altered start. <laughs> Towers in the residential areas too. All right. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll wait till I get back to my base, and then we'll we'll figure out where we're going to drop some stuff. So I'm not going to visit any of those right now, anyway. Uh, when we left off, we had just made it to this radio tower, and we uncovered this this awesome scrumptious morsel. A science lab has been discovered finally. So yay us! We've got another tower or a radio tower over here. Uh, that might give us all of the tiny, tiny town of Waldo and a little bit of Sabago. So I might, uh, I might go over there before we head home. It's just a matter of backtracking down to that point. If it doesn't have a, uh, it doesn't have wasps, um, then that's probably the limit. I don't think I'll go any further. I don't want to go across this river for now. We've uncovered quite a bit actually on our most recent uh, scouting trip. So I was really happy about some of the things we had uncovered. That is just an office tower, not a, a lab. Um, oh, 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 there's Reddy. Hey, Reddy, thanks very much. Bong stream again. The stream be a bonging. Let's go ahead and, um, you know, get rid of the, uh, the sub goal overlay, I guess. Although I still want the message to get out. <laughs> and when I say support small streamers for everybody, I don't just mean me. I mean, you know, if you enjoy other content more than mine, I'm fine with that. Just support them. Direct support them. It's very, very important. You don't understand just how important it is. Do it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, while the bonging commences, let's, uh, let's see. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to go check that other tower. What else did we find? We found another TCL. Where was that? There's a mansion up there. We I thought we had another TCL somewhere. Was it further up north? Uh, that's up where our home is. I forget where the other one was. Trans Coast 79 to the northwest. Yeah, right there. <laughs> it was just south of where... Or no, that's what we had found previously. That's right. That was the TCL we found last time. Kind of hiding in there. There's our home right up here. So for folks that want reference from for where we're at right now, we're kind of southeast of our home a fair ways. <clears throat> we were just kind of rolling around this eastern side trying to uh, to discover things. So when we get back to base, we'll figure out what places we're going to drop some, uh, some magic buildings. And then we'll figure out our raid pattern. Which order we're going to do things at. Magic Shop 1X, used bookstores 2.25X, Academy. Uh, uh, <laughs> so... Wizards Tower is by far the most common, followed by used bookstores then academies and then magic shop all right so i had my order slightly out of out of context there so wizard's tower first then used bookstore we'll just use a uh, 5x uh 2x uh eh, we'll say 3x Magic Shep is the most uh, uncommon. I thought the Academy would be the most uncommon. All right. Five, three, two, one is what I'll just loosely try to base things off of. Well, it'll be pretty haphazard. <clears throat> I'll try to place most of the interesting ones kind of the, to the interior. I won't cherry pick them right on the outskirts or anything like that, but uh, we'll see. We'll try to make it interesting. Um, yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going. 
Thanks for the info, Argon. Um, we will uh, just do that one tower, and I think we're going to skedaddle back home. We're already running a little high on our, our weight, which isn't going to change much until we manage to find some kind of magical means to uh, increase our our abilities. Oh, also, don't freak out about the uh, the plus pluses, the changes to, you know, removal <laughs> of... Uh, the modification system, and now everything's displaying as uh, plus plus. I don't know if that's only for existing worlds or if it happens in new worlds, but don't worry about it. it doesn't mean anything in particular anymore <clears throat> until other changes are made, apparently. All right, um, let's go ahead and uh, let's do things. Uh, let's see. I don't want to go through the forest. Well, I might actually go through the forest. I might go through right here. And then loop down. How are we doing on uh, mana? 2100 mana! Full health. Bats are okay. Overweight and feeling very good. Yeah, everything else seems fine. Turkey turkeys. I'd love to be butchering some turkeys. But we can't carry it. We're going to have to source meat closer to home somehow. Ooh, an owlbear. Where? 57. Hey there, Mr. Owlbear. Yeah, yeah. Everything should be slower than me. <laughs> Okay, we are loose. It's weird. I always want to follow roads by habit. I always want to follow the roads because I'm usually looking for vehicles and such. But with the no hope, it's just no point. No point. Uh, maybe I could find an APC that's wrecked and get some ammo or something. But let's see. Do I want that uh, hotel's map? We've already got a map going pretty far south from here. Probably not critical. Magiclism, there, as noted, there are eight different magic schools, and they are they each have a diametric opposite, so you're only allowed, without modding, you're only allowed to take four of the different schools, because every, as soon as you take one, it locks you out of its diametric opposite. So I am already locked into all four schools. I've already committed the Biomancer, Magus, Storm Shaper, and Technomancer. Those are the only ones I can learn. I can't learn spells from any of the four counter schools to those types. That gives you plenty of options. And then there's an attunement process where if you can get a spell to level 15 in two different schools, you can do an attunement thing, which I couldn't even tell you what it does. But it's kind of like the uh, the highest level magic thing you can do. Your YouTube vids the latest chud run got you into CDA? Not that wacky series. <laughs> it's always funny to me what people watch to get introduced to the Cataclysm series. Well, hope you enjoyed it. It was fun. It was a good one. We had some entertaining adventures in Chud. It's not over yet, is it? I, I forget. We're, we're only two-thirds of the way through Chud, I think. Where the hell are we on Chud release? I lose track because I, I future date them and post episodes. Where are we on Chud? We're on Chud 30... Uh, uh, nope, we're on Chud 34. All right, so, yeah, it's not quite done yet. It's got a ways to go still. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm not actually supposed to be going to the lab. <laughs> I'm just doing it by habit. Technically, we can get in. I can teleport my way in. But I... Uh, there's, there's, there's risks. I'm not really prepared to deal with it. Whoa, that's interesting. Well, hi there, new graphic for the card reader. A smart card reader sports a stylized symbol of an atom inside a flask, universally known to indicate science. Stark red LED blinks askance at your geek cred. <laughs> you could swipe a scientific ID badge near it to unlock the gates to discovery. Is that is that what that place is? That is the gates to discovery? <laughs> Uh, 
Um, yeah, let's just head down the road. Yeah, it could be painful. Depends on your character and your knowledge. Usually when you're breaking into labs from outside, I mean, if you have any experience with them, they're not too dangerous. If you're new to the game, they can be really bad. But breaking out of them is the tougher thing. Even that's not all that tough. Again, the curse of knowledge. You're a lab noob. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be fun. It's an adventure. There are things to know. I see you there, APC. I see you. Who else we got? Zapper Zombie. You guys got a... Uh, I guess we should go ahead and synaptically stimulate. All right, we are stimulated. Let's go check the uh, the wreckage first. Anything on the ground? Uh, ropes, lots of ropes. Mm. Whoa, well, hi there. Flyy guy. There's no map. All right, well, no reason to go in here. Maps are always right here. We have no map. And we have a shock zombie coming in from the northeast. I don't want to get tagged by the shock zombie. Let's go. I keep on the diagonal. Might be best if I cut through here. Just hope there's not a shock zombie here either. And then cut out to the east. Oh, wait. That's a grabber. <laughs> Don't get near that guy. Oh. Go away, you bothersome, stupid flyer. <laughs> Just keeps jumping right next to me. Don't make me beat you up. All right, I'm going to beat you up. Did you drop me? Wow, all sorts of stuff. Antidepressants, a USB drive. So one thing I also was considering, is it possible, because I, I haven't played with this stuff in a while, is it possible to copy your e-ink tablet memory to another drive? So can you have a backup of it easily? Can you just insert another stick and say copy? Or is there is there a way to transfer it? My worry is if I put my magic books and all the other books on the electronic version and I get EMP'd by one of the shock zombies, I don't want to lose access to all of the electronic copies. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up in hopes that we can use it as like a storage medium or backup medium or something. So if I take the... Uh, the e-ink with me to the libraries to get them digitized, and we happen to have an unfortunate uh, situation with some shack enemies that EMP me and wipe my devices. <laughs> I'd rather not lose access to all of that and have to redo it. So we'll go ahead and grab that. You can put the, uh, the books on the laptop. I haven't tried the laptop thing to verify that. I thought the uh, e-ink tablet was the only one. Or is that a secondary thing you can do now by transferring to a USB and then to a laptop? Labs are easy with, no, with map memory and random turrets? Eh, I mean, for experienced players, yeah. Labs got a lot easier when they made a few changes. Compared to, you know, what, what, what us old folks got to deal with. <clears throat> They also, when they changed the, uh, the the kitchen food drops, they they ended up with a lot more food in them. That and the uh, the vending machines used to be starving to death was a serious possibility in uh, the labs, but food became really a non-issue, and a lot of other changes made it a lot easier. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab USB sticks and we'll grab any SD cards we come across and then we'll do some experiments when we're back at home. Massive stag beetle, Vorm's mostest, bestest friend. Uh-oh, dog pack. Dog pack north. All right, we'll have to grab a laptop too then and do some experiments. Squirrels and aphids. I haven't seen any uh, any wasps yet, so we should be clear. Ah! 
<laughs> what? Wait a minute. Is there a wasp nest? Oh, there's a wasp nest next to the tower. <laughs> That's great. The tower is not infested, technically. <laughs> it just happens to be parked immediately next to a nest. Oh, that's funny. All right, we're going to risk it. I'm going to try to get up the top of this tower. We won't be close enough, I don't think, to any of those for them to come to me. We're running our speed bonus right now, so we will, uh, we'll We'll just do a sprint mode. Hopefully nothing is on the stairs. They're starting to see me. Nope, they're not coming for me yet. Oh, we got a map too. Well, hell yeah. Survivor's map along with it. <laughs> I can't get past the chicken. Yes, push past the chicken. Get out of the way, small chicken. You're going to get me killed. <laughs> uh, rabbits and chickens, bane of my existence. Get away from me, wasp. God damn, you got some memory on you. All right, finally. All right, what did we learn this time? What exciting new geographic features did we uncover? Not much out that way. Too bad we're just like two tiles short of seeing what's at the end of that. Waldo has nothing of consequence. A couple houses and a basketball court in a motel. That's just the uh, moonshine still. Don't care about that. All right, Sabago, Sabago, what do you got? You got that magic meadow thing. A land. Home improvement store and a library. And another pharmacy. Hmm. Might eventually have to make a trip down here. Looks like that's about it. Two pharmacies. An amigo structure. All right, nothing particular that's going to draw me down that way. So let's go ahead and work our way back up northwest. Homeward bound, I believe. I was originally going to swing over to the west here. I actually, I think I might. We'll still swing over to the west. I still want to uncover what's at these locations here. And then uh, north, straight north is home again. We, we've been down that way, so... Let's go finish our survey of the area, and then we'll make our decisions. There's another one of those magic meadows. All right, so how are we going to get there? Go to the library and then cut through here. Ah, that looks good. Well, our library, go to the lab and cut back through there. All right. Do, 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 do. We've, been, we've been traveling pretty far for hoofing it all over the place. Sure, we'll travel with safe mode. 1800 mana. Bestial Stalker. He's dead ahead. Right, let's not mess with him. We'll go north of that guy. I still don't remember seeing any deer, bear, wolves. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of aphids, a lot of uh, squirrels. But none of the larger woodland animals. More squirrels. Don't care about a scrapyard. All right. 
right, uh, pretty much due west. We just got to skirt around Cromwell one way or the other. I don't want to get too close to this Mego scout tower. I'll probably go north and around. So we'll follow the road up and then hit that farm and skirt around the uh, western edge of that. Well, I know about the evolution, but we don't have that much evolution in, uh, occurred at this point. Two uh, Amigo Scouts! No! <laughs> fruit leathers. Get myself shot to death over some fruit leathers. Okay, rude. Uh, let's go... Actually, I'm going to go out and then north and then around. I don't want to skirt between that scout and the tower. I can avoid it. Hopefully they can't see me up here. Gotta laugh out of seeing a uh, streamer you're, you're with hundreds of hours of CDA start playing a game. You have 800 hours in. Uh, it's it's way more than hundreds of hours. <laughs> it's somewhere north of 5,000 hours at this point. I have more than 100 challenges on YouTube for Cataclysm. Each one of which on average is like 40 to 50 hours. <laughs> so I don't have any idea what my actual Cataclysm playtime is. And that doesn't even include all of the uh, six years of uh, every single day answering questions on Reddit and Discords and YouTube comments and testing game worlds and, and all that kind of stuff. I don't have my e-ink with me. You can't make me rename Sting things I don't... Oh, I do have it with me. Damn it! <laughs> Why do I have it with me? Uh, never mind. Don't mind me. <laughs> Permanent marker, an item. I thought I left it at home. All right. Thraxivorms. Grimoire. Fine. Be that way. I'll never find the stupid thing every time I want to read my spell book. Store book. Use the apps. Manage external storage. What does that actually do? Copy from device to the card. Ooh. All right. So it does uh, USB storage get uh, get zapped or just the device? Well, I assume it, the, the storage gets zapped. Yeah, never mind. I'm sure it gets zapped. Yeah, we'll wait till we get back to base and then we'll make a copy. <laughs> yeah, we have the farm. I talked about that last episode. We're gonna we're gonna hook up a cow, take it up to our house, kill the cow, and then uh, throw it on the smoker. But yeah, the whole the whole Kenshi thing is. I'm having a good time with Kenshi. I think it's funny though. <laughs> I like enthusiasm, don't get me wrong, but in the first two minutes of me playing Kenshi, the first two minutes that I put on camera, I specifically said, don't tell me things. <laughs> so every single video I have up of Kenshi is just a, a blizzard of people telling me things, <laughs> giving me optimum paths and, and all that. Some of it's fine. I mean, some of it's uh, stuff I ask for, which is, is interface help and all that, but <laughs> I just find it amusing. <clears throat> so I got to be careful with my, my YouTube, reading my YouTube comments <laughs> for Kenshi. People are a little over eager to explain to me how much time they have playing that game, which I totally get. <clears throat> can stuff shoot your moving vehicles now? Yes. Yes, stuff can shoot your moving vehicles now. And yes, skill rust is now no longer optional. Skill rust is now mandatory. So suck it. <laughs> now I can stop explaining it to people because you don't have a choice unless you want to go back and play an old version. 
The vehicles thing isn't as bad as it sounds because 99.9% of the machine guns in the world got removed from the surface layer. So unless you like to drive back and forth across the front of a missile silo, which is the only one I can remember where there's still a, uh, a, a gun shooting turret, then maybe the Migo scouts can shoot you and maybe the feral, uh, the, the, the feral security guard that has the gun can shoot you. Those are fairly rare-ish. You say roadblocks, but those are just uh, beanbags. I mean, crouch like you always do, and you're just going to go right on by. The beanbag rounds aren't going to do much to uh, a vehicle. So, there are a few things that might be problematic. You know, adjust, adapt, overcome. But it's not like you're just going to constantly be getting your car riddled with bullets. Used to be that way, but uh, since they removed all those turrets, that's not really an issue to worry about. I don't, I don't agree with you about that small chance on the M2HB turrets. I've seen an awful lot of the uh, places, and I don't see 50 cal turrets anywhere anymore. So unless you've got a screenshot of one that you want to share in a recent build, I don't believe you. <laughs> Oh, no, we have, uh, well, yeah, feral security guard might be TCL only, I'm not sure. But we have gun-toting uh, ferals in cities. Uh, feral survivor? I think it's the feral survivor, not security guard. Uh, they also have flashlights. That's the fun part. They have guns and flashlights. But, I mean, you're not usually jamming through the middle of a city in your vehicle either at least i'm not not often anyway so again it shouldn't be a real real big thing all right that took a little longer than i wanted mostly because of me yakking Yeah, I don't I don't believe that 5% chance science turret either. <clears throat> that used to be a thing, and there were changes made specifically to get rid of that, that option. I don't know how or where, but uh, that was brought up, uh, God, I don't remember, a year or two ago. Back when they basically phased out the random turrets. It was, cause, it was showing up within that kind of a group. I don't think it happens anymore. Could be wrong, but I don't think it happens. If anybody's got a screenshot again, feel free. All right. Um, we are going south. There's nothing in here I want to try to get to, right? No, nothing, nothing worth it right now. Zombies. Zombies. Oh, another radio tower. That's actually a good spot for a radio tower for us, because that'll un, uh, that'll give us a view out this direction. It'll be across the river mostly, which I won't care about, but uh, who knows? We might get something fun, assuming it's not uh, wasp occupied. Oh yeah, I gotta check where those cabins were. We might have gone right past one of those cabins. Um, by that I mean the yeah, right, right south of us. We got a magicalism cabin. We gotta go check out. <clears throat> Where was the other one? There was one more. 83 east. Oh, back the way we came from. Damn it. Just east of the road or the uh, the lab. All right, we'll we'll try that one later. We're definitely going to go down and check this one out though. Um, yeah, we'll check that first, I guess. That's a bit of a pile. Let's not get their attention. Zombie soldier. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we get any goodies. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're not just running. 
I, I assume because we're not just running magicalism, we're also running we're running magicalism, but also at a 0.5 item scaling factor. So it's all the reduced loot from uh, from or no hope. I mean, all the reduced loot from no hope, and a 0.5 item spawn scaling factor. I'm not seeing anything so far. Uh, the door locked. Door's locked. Do I care about breaking anything? Down here near this town? No, I don't think I care. Scroll of Toxtricity? Well, that's fun. What the hell's that? Inject an electric energy into the creatures, <laughs> which makes them weak and deal huge damage over time. Just for fun. Storm Shaper. Well, okay. And that doesn't require me to have bionic energy. Huh. Cool. We are a storm shaper, so we did get something. Uh, sometimes I see wands, sometimes mana, and <laughs> nuclear strike manual. <laughs> a manual of nuclear strike. Turn your fist into a weapon of mass destruction. Different training programs to train your body overall and temper your hands and nerves into unstoppable forces. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. Unarmed intermediate. That's eh, fine. Unarmed skills. Cool. We're at uh, unarmed five. Well, tech, uh, sort of six. No, 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 not technically six. We're about to hit six. We started at five. Cool. Actually, are we ready to skill up or get another point? Uh, we've we've killed a few things. One thousand more experience to gain the next level. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that book. We have no need for nuclear strike. Nothing in the table. Nothing in the back room. Well, that's probably going to be it. Just that one scroll. Bacon! Yes! I will forever be discouraged that I couldn't get bacon added to the list of achievements. Amount of bacon consumed. The one true metric for who has won the apocalypse. He who consumes the most bacon is the winner. Is that a... Oh, it is a flask of mana. And a potion. Somehow I missed that when I was looking down the list of things earlier. Uh, I believe I've only had one one upgrade point so far. We put it... Oh, no. Did we do two? I think we did do two. Uh, crap. I can't remember now. Uh, what did I set the diary key for? I don't remember that either. That key. Um, new page, I guess. Yeah. I just did the one. No points available. Fill count 300. I warm. Don't know if anybody told you, but magical is going to the same again. <laughs> you, you mean like the place we're at? <laughs> the exact place where I'm standing? So yeah, I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware. That's why we came here. Oh, the other endpoint was a stupid, uh, stupid evac shelter. All right. Do -do 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 -do. We 
We've seen one or two hunting lodges. Uh, it's a little tougher for me to get into those. The, uh, the goodies area, you got to get through the metal bars or the metal door. Uh, I don't have my hacksaw with me, so I can't get through the bars easily. I could teleport in, but uh, at the moment, we're just concentrating in the, uh, the last episode and the start of this episode on uh, reconnoitering our area. Once we've completed that, which will be done as soon as I get to this radio tower, uh, we're heading straight home. When we get home, we will organize a few things, and uh, then we are going to seed we're gonna debug cheat in some buildings that we have been robbed of because the combination of no hope and magicalism has removed a bunch of buildings that are normally supposed to be in my cities and uh we're gonna we're gonna just place some door no no door 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 unlocked door unlocked Sushi. Whole bunch of nothing. Yeah, whole bunch of nothing. Bats. No wasps? No wasps. We're getting pretty lucky about that. Oh yeah, I never used my map, did I? Forgot to use my map. Oh, we got that transport freight employee badge on the ground near a destroyed truck last episode, too. That was pretty lucky. Uh, survivor's map, which we no longer need. So, what did that show us for a road network further south? That's about as far as it's going to go. Uh, eh, minor network of endpoints across the river. And there's not much else in the area that it would have unlocked for the survivor side. Okay, what did we learn? Another magic glade in the forest near the river to the south. Another helipad. Radio tower there. Dump. Whoa! Well, that's good to know. I'm glad we uh, we just got those in range to find. It's not too bad a trip. Although we'd have to go through a swamp. All right. That's a good opportunity for some more magic items that we can sell through the forge. This one we've already cleared. We had another one up north. We haven't cleared yet. That one right there, we haven't cleared yet. All right, let's uh, let's get moving north. Let's get back to base so we can get some stuff done. Um, Back to my favorite store and then north again. Man, we've gone through here so often. What's the forge? We're talking about uh, this thing up here near our home. Currently, we're basing out of this mansion, the uh, kitchen area. Forge of Wonders is what I'm talking about. It's a magicalism-specific location, and it's the pretty much the primary place to go for buying and selling magic stuff. There's three merchants in there you can talk to, um, one of which is kind of book-focused for spells and scrolls, one of which is more item-focused or general magic-focused, and then a third one that you can get uh, reagents from to craft things so forge of wonders is what we're talking about all right time to get home hopefully with us unencumbered and uh fully capable this will be an easier trip than our last one where we were trying to drag big old pile of crap Oh, yeah. Do I want to try to get... Uh, let's go visit our cow farm. We'll see if they're still regular cows. They haven't converted into zombie cows. And then, possibly, I will lead one home for an unfortunate end. So, that's where we're going to go. I don't think there's still anything in here that I need to worry about or care about. P 
pitchfork. Did I ever take a drill back with me? I don't remember if I took a drill with me. Hmm. Do I need a drill? Usually drills are for like uh, mounting tires or the wheel assembly or whatever. I'm going to say no. We'll come back if we need one. We've already got a torch. Skeletal Zombear still in the area. Let's go... Guess over this way. How the hell did I not see the Zapter again? Well, I just probably lost the 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 recipes. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, hey, Thrax of Worms Grimoire. So, did I lose them or not? Are they still in there? We got hammered. I might die to this thing. <clears throat> I totally forgot it was here. Oh crap! Yeah, this thing could kill me. All right, I got to get out of the shock. I got to, I got to, I got to magic missile this guy. Zero percent fail chance. This is exactly why, exactly why I spent all that time leveling up magic missile. All right, <clears throat> that was a little uh, unfortunate. Totally missed him on the map while I was... Uh, uh, once again, <laughs> I was reading chat while moving. Constantly, constantly paying the price for reading chat while moving. Uh, oh yeah, the drill for... Yeah, that's right. 60 liter tanks. Getting those installed. Are they used in the wheel assembly stuff? Am I misremembering that? I remembered they had some function I kept having to go get one for, but I might be misremembering which function. Husks and the plant things, they're the only EMPers. All right, so I'm, I guess I don't need to be as worried. I thought any of the shock enemies did EMP. I haven't dealt with that issue or mechanic yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't go to the places generally where the stupid blue plant things are. <laughs> I just, they're on my fuck no list. <laughs> Bolt turning and welding. All right, so I'm I'm misremembering. <clears throat> it was the 60 liter tank installations. <laughs> yeah, we need some Faraday containers <laughs> just to uh, keep that from happening. Uh, although again, the use case is pretty small. Nineteen hundred. All right, let's go ahead and kick off a uh, do do your light wounds. Eleven hundred. Yeah, we'll hold off on the other one. And let's get. Uh, I don't have that much painkiller yet either. I'm just gonna let the pain flow through me. Pain is just weakness leaving the body. I shall allow that weakness to flow through me. Okay. What's on the road ahead, a zombie? 6.1 dodge now. Ah, fat zombie. Speed 88 because of the pain. Ah, speed 88. We're still going to be significantly faster than this guy. All right, so we've got a roadblock near the dairy farm. i got to be cautious of. Let's get here and then go straight across. And question is, are they still cows? 
Or have they been corrupted? Whoa, Woodland White. Woodland White. And I am in a compromised condition. Coyotes. I guess those count sort of as a larger animal. There's the roadblock. And I see cows. Question is, how do I kill a cow without getting killed myself? <laughs> Hopefully I'll be faster than the cow. I don't know how many hit points cows have. <clears throat> hey there, cow. Activate short rope. Tie what to the rope? Mm, how does this work again? Short rope. No. No. Uh, is it long rope? Examining doesn't do anything. Did I bring my long rope? I brought my long string. Yeah, I might need to feed the cow to domesticate it first in order to get the list. <clears throat> we shall do so. Stop it. Just one. All right, which of you cows is volunteering? You're you're volunteering. Uh, activate cattle fodder that way. The cow likes you. I know. <laughs> it lets you pat its head, and it seems friendly. Ah, oh, I feel terrible. Now interact. Attach leash to cow. Use short rope. All right, come with me, cow. What the hell? <laughs> Cow says, nah. I'm not that fast. The cow should be moving a little bit. It's not even, even if I just move a space and stop, it's just ignoring going on its own way. Hmm. Oh, lead cow by the leash. There we go. <laughs> So many commands. So complicated. I think it, uh, I think we snapped the leash again. I might have to crawl home. <laughs> oh, that's way too slow. And again, we broke it. Mm -hmm. Well, this isn't going so well. <laughs> I could push the cow home. <laughs> um, yeah, you're not skilled enough to ride without a saddle. <laughs> I think we'll leave the cow here for now. I want to get it done before these guys get converted, but if I don't spend time here, hopefully I won't have a problem with the cows getting converted. That's the mistake I made last time. All right. Uh, remove leash from cow. So I have my short rope back. All right. We'll leave them alone for now. <clears throat> we'll get our other stuff done and then we'll come back down. That doesn't really help. It's the wandering hordes that will kill the cows. And that happens when it's out of line of sight. So if I put them in the building and then I move away a bit, wandering hordes can just drop a zombie inside the building with the cows. The trick is just to not spend time near the cows. As long as I leave and I don't come back, wandering hordes won't really be an issue. There's not much around here that could wandering horde in there anyway, but just to be safe. I've got plenty of food for the moment for the next uh, probably week. So 
So we'll just use that as an option later and deal with it when it becomes an issue. Decayed Pouncer off to the east. 